Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, this stick to mouse feature. Uh, this feature allows you to physically spread some objects over the surface. Uh, so uh, in, in this uh, scene setup I'm going to spread these fragments over the, this simple street setup. So uh, to use this feature first of all I have to set here value to some let's say 1 for now. When this uh, spinner is 0 this feature is off. So if you want to use it, you need to increase it. I'll set to 1 for now. So next what I'm going to do is to select all objects uh, which I want to use as uh, static and add them in the static and kinematics list. And these fragments I'm going to add into the dynamic list. Also, uh, all objects which are you using uh, like uh, static, it's better to freeze them, so I will select them and freeze so uh, it will not be possible to select them right now so I will be able to select only uh, dynamic objects so uh, uh, first I will start with some end frame Let's say I will set it to 400 so uh, when I will add uh, when I will start simulation as you can see all fragments start falling uh, and uh, I can select uh, some of them and just throw. So when you select some fragments, as you can see, it start start reaching the mouse cursor. So I can using it to affect another fragments. And when you deselect it, it just starts falling down again. Uh, also, let's say I have a lot of fragments. As you can see, I just can't unselect them. Just clicking on any uh, other area. It might be hard, so uh, I can deselect them just uh, pushing shift button on the keyboard. I'm holding shift and all object deselects. So uh, this is a simple way to deselect your object. You can select them, uh, do whatever you want and then hit shift and it will be deselected. As you can see uh, my uh, simulation time range very soon will be uh, ended. So when it will reach the end frame simulation will stop and it will erase all uh, my changes uh, like this okay you can use bake mode but of course it's better if you don't need any kind of animation bake it you can check off this checkbox move time slider during simulation so in, the, in this case you will just uh, you will have a dynamic engine on but it will be endless so you can select all objects and do whatever you want with them and as you can see you can quickly just take some objects and throw them uh, the, now I want to show you how uh, works the spinner as you can see I have right now value 1 which is, which is the average value uh, if I will lower it let's say I will set it to uh, 0.2 as you can see the small object start reaching my mouse cursor slower so it's it's not so aggressive if I will set it let's say to 4 as you can see it, it, it almost sticks to my mouse so depending on how uh, how much you want to affect on uh, fragments and how much you want to control it, you can change this property. Uh, average value is one. So, uh, as you can see, I had a pretty a uh, lot of fragments, and uh, I just can let's say select some of them and throw it on this car, like this one. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy and uh, artistic way to create some havoc and some chaos so you don't you will not need to use this move moving each fragment how much uh, uh, rotating it you just select some object moving it around your scene and see if you like it if you don't like you can select and spread them again you can throw them
just a little playground. Also, it's possible to use uh, interactive demolition using stick to mass feature. So, in this case, I will use this uh, 0 0.2 solidity. I will activate this feature on. Now I have um, all my dynamic objects, material is brick, so it will be possible to demolish them. Uh, now I can start simulation using bake mode, bake animation mode. And as you can see, it already started demolishing. So now I can start uh, picking some fragments and I will throw throwing them into the surface. And maybe a little more. Come on. Okay, it's breaking now. Can take some more. Throwing them. And they will be demolishing. And of course I can select already new fragments and throw them and spread again how I like. Or we can select some object and hitting them manually. and throw them So let's say let's uh, make some chaos here in this area. I'll select this fragment and uh, throwing them. Okay. Uh, they just demolishing. Okay, there are too much fragments here. Okay, when you are happy with your result, you can just hit stop button and this is your scene. As you can see, it took almost a few seconds, or I mean a few minutes, to take the simple clean street and uh, turn it into a mess, just using uh, very few fragments. 
there were about uh, 200 fragments and uh, now if I will select all fragments now there are about one and a half thousands of objects thank you for watching